All right. A lot of times when we're talking about tea, when you open up a magazine, it's things about the health aspects of tea. Uh, we talk a lot about the various flavors of tea. Uh, but one of the things that I'd like to cover quickly with you right now is, a, is another way to bring the, the practice of, of smell into, into the tea brewing process. And this comes prior to the rinse that I do, the rinse being the priming of the leaf and the, the warming of the tea vessel. In this case, I'm using a gaiwan or a lidded bowl. So one of the great things I can smell this. This happens to be the milk oolong. In its dry form, it's wonderful. Buttery, coconutty, almond milk, hot buttered popcorn. So a lot of times what I'll do, I'll pour that same temperature water that I'm going to use to brew that tea and I'll, I'll warm up the brewing vessel. And then once I can feel the heat really well, oh yeah, it's getting hot. I'll dump that off. Again, if you don't have one of these fancy tea boards, you can use a, a, a bowl or, or even your kitchen sink. So now this is all warmed up. I'm going to take the dry leaf. I'm going to pour it into there. Put the lid back on the teapot or the gaiwan and let that little bit of heat from the, from the gaiwan or, or teapot help to open up the aroma a little bit more with that tea. And then, oh wow, you got to try this. It's a whole nother aspect to what the dry leaf smelled like. It's, it's, it's got this brilliance, this, this shininess to it. And you can do this with any, any type of tea that you brew. And once I've enjoyed that, then I go into the process that's, that's the rinse, where I add that hot water over the leaf, warm everything up, dump that off. Rinse is done. Now I get to smell the leaf all over again. Uh, definition of joy right here. This practice. If you've got the time, do it. If you don't have the time, do it. You need it all the more. Ah, bring that sense of smell into the, into the tea brewing process. Share it with your friends. Have a blast. See ya.